All right, first we're going to talk about updating the firmware on your Cronus Sun. You'll want to go to the Downloads tab here in the Cronus Guide and download uh, Zen Studio. You always want to download it from here because it'll be your latest version. All right, here we are in Zen Studio. As you can see, no devices are found because our Zen is not plugged in yet. We'll launch the update tool. And then what we're going to want to do is plug in our console USB port. First, you need to hold this blue button and then plug it in. Uh, once that's done, you can see that we have it on screen here. Shows our device. Go ahead and click our device. We'll want to use the latest version and begin update. Now, what you can also do here is if you get like an E3 error, uh, you can upload a lower version of the firmware and then the newer version to kind of uh, reset the firmware version. That's one of the fixes for the E3 error. As you can see, we're almost done with the firmware update here. And update is complete. So it's not going to detect it because we're not in bootloader mode anymore. But our update is complete. We plug in our prog port and we are good to go. You can also register here, programmer tab, synchronizing flash, and we are good to go. All right, here's the series XS guide. Um, obviously it works on both con consoles and the wireless adapters. One of the things we'll be talking about today. Um, both controllers work with the adapter. Obviously, there's no Bluetooth on Xbox. Um, here are a list of uh, third-party controllers, if they work with USB or if they'll work with the adapter. And then everything else kind of below this is some more controller setup and other setups, which we will go over in Zen Studio now. All right, here we are in Zen Studio. Let me turn the camera on for the controller. Here we go. Uh, so let's plug in our uh, frog cable and console cable. Um, and as you can see, we're connected. Go to the device tab. Make sure your output protocol is on auto here. And the rest is actually pretty simple. We just plug our controller into the A1 port. And once we have the green lights on and the stable connection, you can go up to the device monitor and check all of the buttons. And as you can see, we've got a stable connection. And this is basically all you need to do for a wired connection. Next, we'll go into wireless connection. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the console and frog ports. Next, we're going to need our plugged in controller with USB and our wireless adapter. So take the wireless adapter, plug it into the A2 port right here, and our controller into the A1 port. You want the lights to turn green. And then once they turn green, you just unplug your controller and let the uh, pairing happen. Now, if the lights don't turn green automatically, you can hit the reset button on the bottom of the Zen. But what's going to happen here is it's going to go through several pairing iterations. So you just kind of have to wait it out until the, it finds a stable connection that it likes. So we're just going to give it a minute here. You'll know it's stable when both the controller light and the USB, uh, the wireless USB adapter light stay on. If it's going to reconnect, it usually does it within a couple seconds. So you'll know pretty quickly. You can see it's still kind of going through its paces. It'll work for a second and then one of the two devices will want a new connection. Let's leave it here for just a second. <clears throat> All 
eight. Controller wanted another one. Like that might be it. Staying connected for a while here. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like we have a full connection. You can see all the buttons work wirelessly and everything is good to go. So you can pick one of these up, link below in my store, of course. If you need any help, feel free to jump in the comments and let me know.